In part four, we're going to create a database structure using schema export, which is going to uh, utilize uh, our mappings of our classes. And then we're going to validate after it's built. We're going to validate it using the schema validate. And then we're going to insert and retrieve data from our tables. So creating our database structure, our tables, uh, is as simple as creating a method that's called create data database schema, uh, which creates new instances of, uh, of the schema export class, uh, pass it a configuration object, and it'll call a draw. We're going to call a drop here first because it'll delete uh, all of the data, all of the tables from the uh, database. So I don't recommend that you do that in the production environment because all the data will be gone. I'm just doing it here. Uh, and then call a create, which will, which will gather all, which will get all of the classes that we have created. It'll build tables based on them and create relationships between your tables uh, that uh, you have mapped in your mapping by code uh, program. And so we'll add a, add the create da database schema here. So we'll go in back into the Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio, expand the tables, and we'll do, and we'll make sure nothing's there, and then we'll run our console application. Go back into the into the SQL Server Management Studio and click on Refresh, and you'll see it created our child and our parent tables. You can also confirm that the schema export used the bag in the parent class to create a foreign key relationship between the parent and the child. And so you open up the design of the parent table and click on this rela relationships and you see that it, that, that it created a foreign key. And then click here and it will show that the ID on the parent table is linked with the parent on the child table. And then next we want to validate our schema and, and make sure, you know, in a bigger example, you know, where you have hundreds of tables, you know, you want to make sure that that the export schema worked okay. And so there's a a class that's called schema validator with the method that, that is called validate. And it uses the mapping the, the mappings that you created to m to make sure that all the columns and their types and the relationships uh, and the tables all exist that you have in your mappings and in your classes. And so add this validate uh, schema method. So next I want to insert some data, so some uh, test data. But before I do that, I want to create uh, two lists of parent and children called parents and children which are going to contain the data that I want to insert and then I want to create a method it's called insert data uh, it's going to implement the session per database transaction here which just basically means that the scope of the session is only that of this transaction and so I created some some parents and children like this and then I added the children to the to the parent and then I created the lists of the children and the parent and then I went through a for each uh, loop to save each parent and a for each to save each child and then I committed the transaction and then lastly I want to modify my main to call the validate schema and the insert data. So I created a piece of piece of code like this, which calls the validate schema, which returns a bool. So if it's true, it's going to insert the data. And then again, I'm using the session per database transaction uh, scope. And it will use the git to, to select one, a parent. And then it'll go through a loop to test and make sure that it was retrieved successfully. So let's run it, but to make sure that you realize when it, whenever we run it, because I'm calling that, that drop, it's going to drop the database which is there, it's going to recreate it, validate it, and then populate 
the data into it and then show us that it was a success. And there we have it. In conclusion, we installed in Hibernate 3.2 Beta 1. We created a database using SQL Server 2008, and we created two classes, a parent and child, mapped them using the mapping by code uh, feature. Uh, we created a strongly typed in Hibernate configuration, and we created the database using schema export and then validated it using schema validate. And we also inserted and retrieved data from the database.